Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the Electrical Question of the Day. Today I did it a little bit different. On the community tab of our YouTube channel, I showed you three different pictures, and I asked you which one was code compliant. If you're not familiar with this, if you go to our YouTube channel, at Electrical Code Coach, and you click on the community tab, I do a poll, an electrical question, six days a week, and usually offer a full video explanation for each one, just like this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first picture, the second picture, and the third picture. Then we're going to talk about the code and see which one was code compliant. Our first picture here shows our electrical panel and the gas line running underneath. Our second photo shows the gas line running above the panel. And our third one shows the gas line just on the right side of this panel. Which one do you think it is? Let's go ahead and dive into the answer. First, let's take a look at scenario one, and we're going to look at two different paraphrase code sections. The first one is 110.26A3, and the second one is 110.26E, as in echo. The working space must be clear and extend from grade, floor, or platform to a height of six and a half feet or the height of equipment, whichever is larger. Within this height, other equipment support structures related to the electrical installation, such as concrete pads, above or below the electrical equipment are permitted as long as they don't extend more than six inches beyond the front of the electrical equipment. Now there's some new language here. I'm, that one there was from the 2020, but this language did stay in the 2023. And it now includes that a part of the installation that's helping be part of the structure, such as a concrete pad that's maybe poking out a little bit, or part of the structure of whatever is holding that panel is now allowed to be in that workspace as long as it doesn't go out more than six inches. 2017 and previous, that language was not there. Now let's look at part E. For this, this is for indoor installations, and we're not going to talk about any other parts of this code, some special things that you're allowed to do. We're just going to look at the blanket code, and this is for services, switch gear, panel boards, and the like. It says dedicated electrical space, the space equal to the width and depth of the equipment, extending from the floor to a height of six feet above the electrical equipment or to the structural ceiling, whichever is lower, must be dedicated to the electrical installation. No piping, duct, leak protection, apparatuses, this includes gas pipe or any other pipe, or equipment foreign to the electrical installation are allowed to be in this zone. So the first code says, hey, from the floor to six and a half feet, that's going to be the working space or the top of the equipment, whichever is greater. The second one kind of takes it up a notch and says for these specific items, you have to have dedicated space for six feet above that equipment as well. You can work through some of the ways that you can work around this in the code, but this is pretty general for most cases. So let's go ahead and take a look at scenario one. We have a gas line running underneath the panel. Well, when we look at our first one, it says, hey, and the second one, it says, hey, the zone below it has to be clear. No other piping or any ducting is allowed to be in the lower zone. And then now let's go ahead and go to our next scenario. Now this one here, we're going to have to use our imagination a little bit. We don't know the depth of this room. Is that six and a half feet right there? We have no idea. But above this, we need to have it clear all the way to the structural ceiling in this case. And in this case, the gas line is in that zone above the panel. So this one is not going to work either. And finally, our winner for today is the gas line just on this right-hand side. And technically, we would have to look at 110.26A, or let me see where it's at here. It's where it talks about the width. It's 110.26A2, talking about the width of our working space. We have to have our 30 inches or the width of the equipment, whichever is wider. But that's just to one side. And, then, and in this case, the gas line's on the right-hand side here, so we are good to go. So you, with all things being equal, just what we're looking at today on this page you are good to go on this install and this would be the winner for today i am the electrical code coach and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others you have two more days to get involved in our homeless bags that we're doing so right now if you purchase our 14.99 pdf 
It's 400 questions, 400 electrical questions with full explanations. It's a download and it's $14.99. And if you purchase it in between now and Saturday, each one of those is going to purchase a homeless bag. We've had overwhelming response to this. I'm super excited to shoot the video of us packing the bags, maybe even some footage of us taking them out. Each bag includes a toothbrush, toothpaste, wipes, nail kit, some food, a little bit of drink, whatever we get, to, you know, get to put in there and a bag for them, which is often helpful. And each one of these that are purchased are going to cover that. Each one covers a bag and we've had a huge response to this. I'm super excited. I'm so grateful to be a part of this. And listen, if you guys want to get involved, I'll put a link down in the description below. You just click it, you buy it, you get the PDF to keep for life. And then also that buys one bag. I'm super excited about this. If you have any questions, you can always just shoot me a text at 423-895-3247. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Let's get to it.